In this video, we're going to be comparing four of the most popular robot designs for the 2025-2026 Vex IQ game Mix and Match. We'll break down each robot's strengths, weaknesses, and which team levels they're best suited for. So the first bot that we're going to be talking about is the hero bot Huey. Huey is designed to introduce new players into the game and can handle all of the basic tasks like picking up pins, stacking pins, grabbing beans, and moving around the field at a decent pace. It's super beginner friendly, easy to build and understand, with a very low skill ceiling. That means new teams can quickly get it running at its max potential. But the trade-off is that its scoring ability is limited and it's slower compared to more competitive designs. Another plus side to this design is that it uses only four motors, which means you have two extra motors to experiment and customize with. For brand new teams, it's a fantastic learning platform, but don't expect it to dominate the leaderboard. The second robot that we're going to be looking at is Pinhead by Ben Lipper. It's an arm and claw style bot that actually uses wheels to intake pins instead of using a claw, and it's impressively fast at picking up these pins. That said, there are two major downsides. First of all is the weight distribution as it is a little bit unstable and shakes a bit. And the second thing, probably more important, is that the intake is super duper large and it actually fills up an entire triangle goal whenever you're trying to drop down a stack. That means it might be harder to actually uh, deposit stacks whenever you're trying to score. Still, it is a solid step up from Huey, and for beginner to intermediate teams ready to level up their build skills and drive skills, Pinhead is a great choice as long as you make those changes. The third robot we're going to be looking at is Pintex, created by Capped Pin. The compact design features two 180 degree rotating claws for um, holding onto the pins and a pneumatic claw for handling the beams. Despite its small size, this bot is both powerful and versatile as it can perform every single task in the game and clearly outclasses Huey all across the board. But there is a catch. The driver skill requirement is super high. Controlling three claws, two for pins and one for a beam can be really tough, especially when under the pressure of a match. And while the design isn't overly complex, it does require precise alignment and tuning, which may take time and a lot of practice. For upper intermediate to advanced teams, Pintex offers an incredibly high ceiling if you're up for the challenge. The fourth robot and my personal favorite is the Revolver Bot. The biggest limitation is that it can't use beams, but that can be fixed and I'll get into that in a second. What makes this bot really stand out is its pen mechanism as it uses conveyor style intake and a revolving storage system to collect and stack pins. And all you have to do is just go up and it intakes it and then all you have to do is spin the revolver and it drops down super quick super smooth super simple easy for drivers to operate really lovely and if you modify it with a flipping mechanism that can flip pins upside down you could potentially make the robot beam compatible bringing it close if not better than pintex while having better handling for intermediate to advanced teams this bot strikes a great balance between functionality and usability with the right tweaks it could be a top tier design this season Thanks for watching. I hope this breakdown helped you figure out which robot best fits your team's skill levels and goals for the 2025-2026 Vex IQ robotic season. Let us know in the comments which robot you're using or planning to use. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. See you in the next one.